trees up coming there. Ooh, this will be a challenge. <laughs> Just as well we've got all day. Now, I reckon next to Yorkshire, Cornwall is the nearest place to heaven on earth that exists. Hello, this is Port Mellon near Mevergissey in Cornwall. You know Mevergissey. Quaint, narrow streets, pretty harbour, wedged lorries. <laughs> And we've been called down by Cedric Maddox, who's got a little bungalow, this is it, tucked just up on the cliff, because he's been dying to do a cliff top garden. And he wants to surprise his wife, Sylvia, with a sun trap. We picked the right day for it. We didn't pick the right moment there. Sylvia's there. Sylvia there. Where is Sylvia? Oh, in the kitchen. Can she hear you? When and if you come up. <laughs> I know it's rather late and tight. What are you laughing for? I'm not laughing. You are? It's not. You're breathing heavy. Who's you got? Oh. <laughs> It's nobody, it just said. Who have you got there? Nobody, I'm on the balcony. Oh, I see. I forgot my computer. Oh, yes, if you if you do get here, bring me toilet bag, even though I'm only going to be here for one more night. Oh, can you bring my uh, aftershave back? No, you will be here, won't you? Oh, of course. I'm going now. Okie dokie. Okay, it's very complicated. I'm completely confused. Enjoy your sunbathing. Okie dokie then. Bye bye. Cedric. What we obviously arrived at rather a critical time. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Beads of perspiration on his brow. Oh, she says, who's that laughing? That's <laughs> why I was quiet. Come on, these, these, are, these, these are sensitive phones. Show us the damage. I'm, Where are I'm sorry about that. I couldn't get so, off the phone. <laughs> poor Cedric. Broken arm, recent heart surgery. Is there much more excitement it can take? Meanwhile, in Mevergissey... Then. He's stuck in Mevergissey with the lorry. Mevergissey, working fishing village. He's probably dangling his line, catching lunch. <laughs> Is this it? It's tiny. I mean, why am I so shocked when things are tiny? You'd think by now, thicko here, would have dawned. We may have to do a little bit of light cutting back. I've got some other jobs to do. If you... <laughs> this is quite enough, Cedric. <laughs> Can I show you what I thought? Here we are. Um, it's giving this flavour of this seaside hideaway and her oh, sun right. trap. So where we have this raised grass area here, we'll pave that on that raised area. Mm -hmm. um, and instead of those two timber interwoven fence panels there, we'll have a stone wall. It'll look like dry stone. It will be mossed on the inside. Planted up with sea pink thrift on the top. So it really links with the seaside. Yes. And she's got a sort of hard standing sun trap there with a, a hammock slung from two posts. Mm. A bit of cutting back to do to let in a bit more, but to keep privacy from, so that you're not overlooked. Um, and then the lawn area, to keep as much of that grass as we possibly can. And thinking of wildlife and birds and oh, robins yes, flitting yes, about. Yes. I want to do funny things around the edge, planting cabbage palms, plants that look spectacular at the seaside, which can cope with a bit of wind yes. and the kind of weather you get down here. And maybe making some stone columns out of steel rods with pebbles in ever-decreasing size, which look like sort of upside-down icicles. That sounds interesting. It does look like a case of where do we start? I think we start by thinning out the overgrowth as opposed to undergrowth, hoping that Tommy turns up soon, <laughs> and then I shall break it to him that the stone wall, which is going to replace those two fencing panels, is actually going to be built by me, not by him. Ooh. He's going to be upset, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I want to do a Winston Churchill. Do you think she'll like it? I'm sure she will. But you'll come back if you don't. <laughs> well, <I'm just. laughs> right, come and have a butcher's. This lawn area is going to be slightly ameliorated with some paving because he said it's it? <laughs> that and that's the sunbathing area there. It seems smaller It's we. It? There yeah. is a body in there at the moment. Miss Dimmock. Um, there you are. <clears throat> so this is the paved area. This is the sun trap. We're going to slightly cut away these shrubs but keep them on the top so the privacy's kept but the sun's let in more. Uh -huh. This is going to be replaced by a wall, this here. What's the other but, side of? Well there's quite a bit before the cliff drops. It's not too bad. Uh, but this is all going to be paved but there's something I've got to break to you now. Oh, how much do you love me? On a scale of one to ten? <laughs> a half. Now, at the moment, it's, it's early in the morning, it's first day, so yeah. it's about nine. OK. It's gonna go I, I think down. it's going to go down very quick. <clears throat> you see this fence? Yes. It's going to replace my wall. Yes. I'm going to build the wall. Oh, that's fine with me. No, that's fine, yes. Because it's right next to the edge. I thought you'd go stratospheric. No, not a problem. Oh, great. So you're happy with the paving? Yeah. And I've got the wall? Yes, great. You don't mind a little bit of um, 
Advice. Same as if I have to take advice from you. I should be begging out. for it at the end of today. Keep it clean. Can please. you do the footings for me? Yes. And then you'll let me build it? Sure. Fine. There must be a catch. I'm very relaxed today. I think I got away with that, didn't I? I know, it's strange. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> do you think it'd be a good idea for maybe put a post in and tie it up? Absolutely, because you're lifting it. But if you also you move it that way, tie oh. it across there, it's that thick. You see, it covers that window now. Right. Not gonna get it right. Yeah, got it. Yeah, great. This may look like a bit of rough concrete, but you have to get the level of the foundations perfect. It's very important, but because this is on a hill, we have to step it. Now, normally you would leave the concrete to go off for at least a couple of days, but we're only here for a couple of days. So we've got to put it in what we call a dry lean mix. Get it level, temper it down, and start building on it straight away. Well, Alan is. That's something worth seeing, I'll tell you. I know. Is it? I... Nice stone. North Cornwall. Della Bowl quarry. It's very nice. There's mm. russet colours in it. What are you doing down there? Ah, uh, old habits die hard. No, actually, I've got to set this out for you because of the steps. I just saw Charlie walk past me with what I think was a small tree. Yeah, I think it's just been moved from One of those Cianthiuses. Cianothus. Same thing. Here you are. Clean trowel. A new modern Madame Tootsie. I promise by the power vested in me that I will take care of both Madame Tootsie and your famous trowel. And watch your fingers with that because it's very painful. Yes, OK. okay. Don't get anything between that and the stone. Very true. Anything tender. I know it seems terrible to dig out a cyanosis, but this one had been tied back to the wall and it had been choked and it was dying, and I hear that Sylvia is wanting shot of it, so it's going. Okay. Do you want me to bring in a hammer and chisel for you as well? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be very so nice. So you can dress Thank the you. stones? Yes, I'll dress the stones. <clears throat> The first, this is. It weighs a ton. Did you try and get a higher car? Yeah, and they says, uh, it's all my plaster. They said, well, we need a letter from your insurance. But I was going to say your insurance would have covered it. It says, we need to see. If you've got a disability and you're driving, we need to see the letter all from right, your insurance. Well, listen, I won't argue with you. We're on Barry's phone. Okay. Um... You've lost the talk. The tel mm. Did you hear the telephone go? Mm. That was my wife. <laughs> She's got the train today. She'll be home at five o'clock tonight. <laughs> You're not serious? No, she couldn't get... She wouldn't let me ask for a lift, so she couldn't get the lift. My son's away down in London until the weekend, so she couldn't bring her home. So she's coming home tonight? He's taking her to the station now. Well, what are you going to do? I'll she can't, come, she can't uh, come back here. Well, what shall I do? Hijack the train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, she's got to be away for two days. She's got to be away yesterday. She's got to be away today and tomorrow. Do you want to have a word with her? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do? Stop winding you up. <laughs> you winding me up? You see this plate, Cedric? It's a nice smell, isn't it? Yeah, Western Red Cedar, yeah. If you take that and give it a sniff. Is that what they used to put in the blanket boxes? That's right, yeah. It's a um, similar um, um, timber they use for uh, lining out uh, wardrobes. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, what you can smell is aromatic phenols. Mm -hmm. That uh, prevents the, uh, the timber being attacked by insects and prolongs the life of the timber. So yeah, this piece is roughly about 100 years old. Gosh. It's come from the west coast of Canada, whereas flotsam, it's a hazard to small craft. So it's collected and shipped over by the container full. Hey, we've got a crisis here, we will need... Oh, Can't get my foot out. Oh, sugar. Right. We will need to have some material filled in at the back here, otherwise uh, this will go. Where's Willie? Willie! Willie! Tom, we can't move. We need something to infill this wall. See the wall is falling up, backwards. Falling into the sea. Yes, Willie, falling into the we sea. We need some buckets of gravel or something, Will. Right, OK. That's what moved it, my foot going down on that soft soil there. 
Can I just remind you of that later at a future date? Yeah, that's that right. you collapsed my entire wall. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, once you go up so high, you have to. I told you earlier, you have to backfill this. Oh, so it is my fault. No, I'm not going to say. Do the proximity of your size 12 <laughs> at all. I'm not going to say. I I'm... should have legislated for that. <laughs> You're right. You got it, Tom. Well, I can't. You have to. Get... I've got the wall. You yeah. drive the stones. Yeah. Eight hours ago, I want to build a wall. Eight hours on, oh, we should have stuck to gardening. Right, just about done. You all right? Aye. It's all right? Oh, it looks great, yeah. I'm just relieved it's still standing. <laughs> it looks great. Were you off now? Yeah, are you nearly done? Well, another two minutes or so. I've got to lay the right. rest of this paving here tonight, so right, it'll take me that long to get my nails right for tonight. My hands clean, so I'll go and start. <laughs> OK, then. Right, have a pint ready uh, on the bar for I me. Will. Newcastle Brown Ale, frappe. <sighs> See you in a bit. OK, adios. Now, first thing, what do we need to do? You've got to pave through here to the sea, and we're going to have that bench sort of here. I finished all the paving last night, I'll have you know. Just because you didn't want to do anything today. Having learnt by my mistakes yesterday of not backfilling this hollow wall as I went and then almost going hurtling into the sea with it, I am now filling it as I go and hoping that uh, within an hour or so, I shall actually be able to plant something in the top. I want to put sea pinks in it, thrift. So it's almost like looking over another bit of natural cliff top to down there, because there are a lot of little paths running down the cliffs here with sea pinks. Pretty idyllic, isn't it? Having your own set of steps cut into the rock face right the way down to the beach. Absolutely stunning. I suppose from my point of view, one of the greatest attractions of Cornwall is the tremendous range of wildflowers you get. This is what I'm going to plant in the top of my wall up there. Sea pink or thrift. Uh, we've got darker shades for gardens, but I, I love the pale pink like this. Up here, bladder campion with those inflated calyxes just behind the white flowers. And behind it, the campion that we have in most of our country lanes all over Britain, red campion. It just glows bright pink at this time of year. There's a fumitory growing out of a rock crevice. I tell you, anybody who's remotely interested in botany, Cornwall will just make you drool. This Cornish sand is very coarse, but it's, it's very good for pointing. But don't forget, if you try this at home, put on a pair of gloves. My hands are very hard and well used to it. As you will have witnessed, we had quite a lot of rain here yesterday, so the sand is a tad wetter than we would like it. When you're doing the pointing, you mix a very dry sand, soft sand, three parts of sand to one part of cement. Now, if it's not dry, then the cement content within the mix will stay in the edges of the slabs. So try and get it very, very dry. But if it does, don't worry too much, because it will wear off in time. It's what we call blooming in a tray. Very appropriate when you consider we're in a garden. Now, as Alan seems to have gone into builder's mode, and he's gone into Tommy's builder's mode and taking ages doing the wall, I get to do all the plants. <laughs> it's lovely verbascum. It is verbascum jacky, and it matches the paving beautifully. We've got several good seaside plants. We've got tamarisk, which always looks really delicate, but it's not, it bends in the wind and doesn't mind the salt spray. And we've got Cytisus lena, 
beautiful colours, so that one's good, and lots of grey foliage plants, which normally mean if they've got grey foliage, they'll do well at the seaside, like this Senecio, which are going just about here. <laughs> Green teas, of course. Wonderful. Delia, eat your ass yeah. out. Uh, and Marella Cherry. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh wizard. Marella Cherry. Mmm. Sorry. I can't eat these, but I like it. No. Mmm, oh. <laughs> clotted cream. They're my favourite. Mind you, I've been working hard on that stonework, so it won't put on the pounds, will it? That's right. Mm. I wonder if Charlie wants one. No, she's not a builder like we are. Oh, they're very true. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Cedric. Hello, Barry. We're, I'm at the Little Chef on the Oakhampton Bypass. Oh, right. So, that'd be all right for five o'clock, do you think? Uh, yeah, just about. Just about. I, I'm OK. How are you? Five o'clock would suit us fine, Barry. OK. What's the health and temper like over there? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. You're in Stuck. Stuck. Is that the word, is it? OK. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine I'm in trouble, yeah. And you're in the, the Audi? We are indeed. Still white? Yep. Okie dokie. OK, boy. Cheers, and See you soon. Thanks, Barry. Bye bye. Everything tickety boo? Spot on. Gives us just over an hour and a half then. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> Well, where are we going to... Do you know the skip ain't gone? What? The skip hasn't gone. It's ten to five. He was meant to come... I thought he was meant to come at four o'clock. I thought it had gone. It's still there. But we'll say it's James's. And she'll go for that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she will. If I mention Dolphin, she'll be up here like a flash. Uh, yeah. We'll took ourselves over where Tommy is now in that corner there. OK. Um, so that if you bring her up here, yeah. we'll be behind the bushes and we will leap out and surprise her. OK. OK. <laughs> The dolphins are in the bay. Are they? Quickly, they're all feeding them right by the rocks. Yeah, quick, go have a look. Go on the balcony. Now go up the top, you'll see them better up the top. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> 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 How are you? Alan! <laughs> oh, that was worth doing. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> How are you? Tommy. Tommy. How are you? Oh, dear. Pleasure to meet you, Charlie. <laughs> and Willie. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you guessed, did you? No. <laughs> I need to shake it. <laughs> oh, I've got 
got somewhere for you to sit. Some oh, places for you to sit. I've seen this on television. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. Take my hand. Now, this wall, Sylvia, Alan built this with his own hands. You owe me now, Sylvia, because this... Uh, these used to be gardener's oh, hands. <laughs> these were gardener's hands. They are now Bricky's hands. Yes. This is the first, the club, first and only wall I've ever built. <laughs> and it could have been my last if, after the incident with Tommy's foot, I'd followed it over the cliff and into the sea. As for the rest of the garden, well, Tommy's paving and Charlie's planting lead to a shady corner and the driftwood sculpture seat. Seaside plants predominate here, adapted as they are to the mild maritime atmosphere. And while the hammock enjoys a view over the bay, the neighbours can't enjoy a view of the hammock or its occupant. Am I forgiven? Thank you. There you are, Sylvia. Cheers. I'm one of those. Cheers, Sylvia. Very much. Barry, you are co conspirator. You promised me, Sylvia, that you will um, lie in that hammock and sunbathe in the nude, won't you? Because we've made sure the neighbours can't see you. He's told you that as well. <laughs> now, no secrets from the Ground Force team. From the Ground Force team in Natural Naturist, Cornwall. <laughs> it's a bit chilly for goose pimples. Till the next time, take care. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Well, you've got such a lovely view that we thought it was a shame to have two sort of interwoven fencing panels in the way, so just a nice bit of thrift and wall. And... It really is. It's wonderful. Here's to you. Well, may you enjoy sitting in this. Thank you very much. Yes, did you? No. We've <laughs> <laughs> well, got somewhere for you to sit. Some oh, places for you to sit. I've seen this on television. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. Take my hand. Now, this wall, Sylvia, Alan built this with his own hands. You owe me now, Sylvia, because this uh, these used to be gardener's hands. <laughs> These were gardeners, as they are now Bricky's hands. Yes. This is the first, the the club, first and only wall I've ever built. <laughs> and it could have been my last if, after the incident with Tommy's foot, I'd followed it over the cliff and into the sea. As for the rest of the garden, well, Tommy's paving and Charlie's planting lead to a shady corner and the driftwood sculpture seat. Seaside plants predominate here, adapted as they are to the mild maritime atmosphere. And while the hammock enjoys a view over the bay, the neighbours can't enjoy a view of the hammock or its occupant. Am I forgiven? You can't say that. Oh, <laughs> thank you, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Sylvia. Cheers. I'm one of those. Oh, Cheers, Sylvia. Very much. Barry, you are co-conspirator. 
You promised me, Sylvia, that you will um, lie in that hammock and sunbathe in the nude, won't you? Because we've made sure the neighbours can't see you. He's told you that as well. <laughs> now, no secrets from the Ground Force team. From the Ground Force team in Natural Naturist Cornwall. <laughs> it's a bit chilly for goose pimples. Till the next time, take care. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers. Oh God, that's gorgeous. Well, you've got such a lovely view that we thought it was a shame to have two sort of interwoven fencing panels in the way. So, just a nice bit of thrift and wall. And it really is. It's wonderful. Oh, my God. Here's to you. Tommy, I've got some green teas for you. Green wow. teas. Wonderful. Honest green teas, of course. Wonderful. Delia, eat your ass out. And Marella Cherry. Oh, yes. Oh, wizard. Marella Cherry. Mmm. Sorry. I can't eat these, but I like the <laughs> No. Mmm, oh. clotted cream. <laughs> my favourite. Mind you, I've been working hard on that stonework, so it won't put on the pounds, will it? That's right. Mm. I wonder if Charlie wants one. No, she's not a builder like we are. Oh, they're very true. Yeah. Hello? Hi, Cedric. Hello, Barry. We're, I'm at the Little Chef on the Oakhampton Bypass. Oh, right. So, that'd be all right for five o'clock, do you think? Uh, yeah, just about. Just about. I, I'm OK. How are you? Five o'clock would suit us fine, Barry. OK. What's the health and temper like over there? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. You're in Stuck. Stuck? Is that the word, is it? OK. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine I'm in trouble, yeah. And you're in the, the Audi? We are indeed. Still white? Yep. Okie dokie. OK, boy. Cheers See and you soon. Thanks, Barry. Bye-bye. Everything tickety-boo? Spot on. Gives us just over an hour and a half, then. I think we'll be all right. Do you know the skip ain't gone? What? The skip hasn't gone. It's ten to five. He was meant to come. I thought he was meant to come at four o'clock. I thought it had gone. It's still there. But we'll say it's dangerous. And she'll go for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she will. If I mention dolphins, she'll be up here like a flash. Uh, yeah. We'll took ourselves over where Tommy is now in that corner there. Okay. Um, so that if you bring her up here, yeah. we'll be behind the bushes and we will leave part of cement. Now, if it's not dry, then the cement content within the mix will stay in the edges of the slabs. So try and get it very, very dry. But if it does, don't worry too much, because it will wear off in time. It's what we call blooming in a tray. Very appropriate when you consider we're in a garden. Now, as Alan seems to have gone into builder's mode, and he's gone into Tommy's builder's mode and taking ages doing the wall, I get to do all the plants. <laughs> it's lovely verbascum. It is verbascum jackie, and it matches the paving beautifully. We've got several good seaside plants. We've got tamarisk, which always looks really delicate, but it's not, it bends in the wind and doesn't mind the salt spray. And we've got Cytisus lena, beautiful colours, so that one's good. And lots of grey foliage plants, which normally mean if they've got grey foliage, they'll do well at the seaside. Like this Senecio, which are going just about here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course. Wonderful. Delia, eat your ass out. Uh, and and Cherry. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, Ooh, wizard. Morello Cherry. Mmm. Sorry. I can't eat these, but I like it. <laughs> no. Mmm, oh. clotted cream. They're my favourite. Mind you, I've been working hard on that stonework, so it won't put on the pounds, will it? That's right. Mm. I wonder if Charlie wants one. No, she's not a builder like we are. Oh, they're very true. Yeah. Hello? Hi, Cedric. Hello, Barry. We're... I'm at the Little Chef on the Oakhampton Bypass. Oh, right. So, that'll be all right for five o'clock, do you think? Uh, yeah, just about. Just about. I I'm OK. How are you? Five o'clock would suit us fine, Barry. OK. What's the health and temper like over there? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. You're in Stuck. Stuck? Is that the word, is it? OK. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine I'm in trouble, yeah. And you're in the, the Audi? We are indeed. Still white? Yep. Okie dokie. OK, boy. Cheers, and See you it. soon. Thanks, Barry. Bye-bye. Everything tickety-boo? Spot on. Gives us just over an hour and a half, then. I think we'll be all right. Hey. If you don't mind a little bit of um, advice? Same as if I have to take advice from you. Look, I shall be begging out. for it at the end of today. Keep it clean. Can please. you do the footings for me? Yes. And yes. then you'll let me build it? Sure. Fine. There must be a catch. I'm very relaxed today. I think I got away with that, didn't I? I know, it's strange. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> do you think it'd be a good idea for maybe put a post in and tie it up? Absolutely, because you're lifting it. But if you also you move it that way, tie oh. it across there, it's that thick. You see, it's covered that window now. Right. Not going to get it later. Right. Yeah, got it. Yeah, great. This may look like a bit of rough concrete, but you have to get the level of the foundations perfect. It's very important, but because this is on a hill, we have to step it. Now, normally you would leave the concrete to go off for at least a couple of days, but we're only here for a couple of days. So we've got to put it in what we call a dry lean mix. Get it level, temper it down, and start building on it straight away. Well, Alan is. That's something worth seeing, I'll tell you. I know. Is it? I... Nice stone. North Cornwall. Della Bowl Quarry. It's very nice. There's mm. russet colours in it. What are you doing down there? Uh, old habits die hard. No, actually, I've got to set this out for you because of the steps. I just saw Charlie walk past me with what I think was a small tree. Yeah, I think it's just been moved from One of those Cianthiuses. Cianothus. Same thing. Here you are. Clean trowel. A new modern Madame Tootsie. I promise by the power vested in me that I will take care of both Madame Tootsie and your famous trowel. And watch your fingers with that because it's very painful. Yes, OK. okay. Don't get anything between that and the stone. Very true. Anything tender. I know it seems terrible to dig out a cyanosis, but this one had been tied back to the wall and it had been choked and it was dying, and I hear that Sylvia is wanting shot of it, so it's going. Okay. Do you want me to bring in a hammer and chisel for you as well? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be very so nice. So you can dress you. the stones? Yes, I'll dress the stones. <clears throat> The first, this is. It weighs a ton. Did you try and get a higher car? Yeah, and this is, uh, it's all my plaster. This is what we need a letter from your insurers. But I was going to say your insurance would have covered it. This is, we need to see. If you've got a disability and you're driving, we need to see the letter from all your right, insurance. Well, listen, I won't argue with you. We're on Barry's phone. Okay. Um... Oh, that's soft soil can I just remind you of that later at a future date? Yeah, that's That right. you collapsed my entire wall. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, once you go up so high, you have to... I told you earlier, you have to backfill this. Oh, so it is my fault. 
No, I'm not going to say... the proximity of your size 12 <laughs> at all. I'm not going to say... I I'm... should have legislated for that. <laughs> You're right. You got it, Tom. Well, I can't... You have to... Yeah. I've got the wall. You yeah. guide the stone. Yeah. wasn't it really? Eight hours ago, I want to build a wall. Eight hours on, oh, we should have stuck to gardening. Right, just about done. Are you all right? Aye. It's all right? Oh, it's great, yeah. I'm just relieved it's still standing. <laughs> well, it's great. Well, you off now? Yeah, are you nearly done? Well, another two minutes or so. I've got to lay the right. rest of this paving here tonight, so it's Well, it'll take me that long to get my nails right for tonight. My hands clean, so I'll go and start. <laughs> OK, then. Right, have a pint ready uh, on the bar for I me. Will. Newcastle Brown Ale, frappe. <sighs> See you in a bit. OK, adios. Good morning, dear. Good morning. Good morning, Cedric. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> yes, it's still there. Whee! Result. Ooh. There we go. Right. Now, first thing, what do we need to do? You've got to pave through here to the seat, and we're going to have that bench sort of here. I finished all the paving last night, I'll have you know. Just because you didn't want to do anything today. Having learnt by my mistakes yesterday of not backfilling this hollow wall as I went and then almost going hurtling into the sea with it, I am now filling it as I go and hoping that uh, within an hour or so I shall actually be able to plant something in the top and put sea pinks in it, thrift. So it's almost like looking over another bit of natural cliff top to down there because there are a lot of little paths running down the cliffs here with sea pinks. Pretty idyllic, isn't it? Having your own set of steps cut into the rock face right the way down to the beach, absolutely stunning. I suppose from my point of view, one of the greatest attractions of Cornwall is the tremendous range of wildflowers you get. This is what I'm going to plant in the top of my wall. 